Gerard Schaefer. He is known as the serial killer of Port St. Lucie in Martin County, Florida. He killed animals as a child and became a peeping Tom. He often spied on a neighbor girl that he later was suspected of murdering in 69. He graduated high school in 64. He went to college and got married. In 69, he became a teacher but was fired for inappropriate behavior. He became a police officer in 71. July 21st, 1972, Schaefer, while on patrol, picked up two teenage girls who were hitchhiking. He abducted them, took them deep into the woods, and tied them to a tree where he threatened to kill them or sell them into slavery. He got a call on his police radio and had to leave the girls there tied up to the tree. The two girls escaped and went to the nearest police station, which was actually his police station. When Schaefer returned to the woods and found his victims gone, he called his station and claimed that he had done something foolish, explaining that he had pretended to kidnap and threaten two girls in order to scare them straight. His boss didn't believe him and stripped him of his badge and charged him with false imprisonment and assault. After posting bail, he was released. Two months later, on September 27, 1972, he abducted, tortured, and murdered two teenage girls at the Devil's Tree and buried them on Hutchinson Island. In December 1972, he appeared in court in relation to the abduction of the two girls that escaped back in July. Due to a plea bargain, he received a sentence of one year. In April of 73, the decomposing, butchered remains of the girls were finally discovered. Police were able to obtain a search warrant for his home. In his bedroom, police found stories he had written that were of the torture, rape, and murder of women. The authorities found personal items, like jewelry, diaries, and human teeth, from at least eight young women and girls who had gone missing in recent years. December 3, 1995, 22 years after being imprisoned, Schaefer was found stabbed to death in his cell. He had been killed by an inmate who charged into his cell, slashed his throat, and stabbed him in both eyes. Before he was killed in prison, he was suspected of killing over 30 young women across South Florida and elsewhere. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification. Also, like the video and comment below locations you would like to see me visit in the future. Now let's get started with the exploring. Holy crap, it looks like they tried to like burn it or something. I know. Mm -hmm. actually a mark on the side. What? What is all of this? They, they try to um try to put something in and then they cement it up um, they try to cut it down. Really? Mm -hmm. And they put a cross on it right here and when it came back the next day it was upside down. Really? I heard a rumor that it was like I heard a rumor that it was like, 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 like,
I heard a rumor there was about the Satan worshippers, man. There's like a lady that told me all these stories. Like, a, like one of those paranormal investigators. She was like one of those paranormal, paranormal investigator people. She yeah. Like investigating, she like little app scanner. She was doing something. That was pretty cool. Really? Yeah. And so that's back there where they buried him? Yeah, I'm going to go back there. Also, I'll like, go back there with you. That told me there's like a figure back there, like a black figure or something. Really? Know. So this place is apparently really haunted. Yeah. Have you guys witnessed anything? No, but I, I, we just heard about the rumors and stories. I think we'll do somewhere over there. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is this where the grave is? Yeah, I see there's a little yeah, shrapnel yeah. back there. So did he build something to yeah, put them in? This is the guy's house. This used to be the guy's house. Oh, no way. Yeah, because yeah, it looks like... like the guys, um, yeah. But where's the body? Is there, was there a body in there? I'm going to get off this in case. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> probably a good idea. Somebody that drags you down. Wow. Where's the body? Because this last year... Yeah, they took the body. You have to. You have to bury it in a house. Like yeah, they house. probably took it to, you know, this can't be the whole evidence. House. Because this can't be the whole house. They're probably get an outhouse from it. This must be like No, house. it looks like it's pretty big. I mean, it goes all the way over there. I mean, oh, yeah. it looks like, I all these was... trees have grown up since 1971. When so. did this happen? 1970? Yeah, 1971. Yeah. That's what I was reading about. Yeah, all these bricks. Huh? What's that? I thought it was pie, but is that? No, it's some kind of fruit. Where? Oh, it's probably an orange. Or that's a lemon. I'm not. I'm gonna get that. Huh? Where's the stick? Let me help me get that. Wow. Yeah, it's probably not oh yeah, right. you could see where the entrance was. So this guy. Oh yeah, look at all the bricks all the way down there. There's probably. I don't know how they were. I can imagine. How I'm sure they was. tore all of this down after they caught him. But did, did he get murdered too by the cops? I can't. I didn't read that far. I, I uh, know that they caught him. And I thought I read somewhere where he was a police officer, but I could be wrong. He was an ex-cop. Okay. Did you kill those girls? Are you the girls that were murdered? What's your names? Is this tree cursed? There's like a silence in here now. This has been a very loud place until right now. Like all you hear is just the distant cars, but no people. Is anyone here? Come on, asshole. Was it you that murdered those girls? The wind just picked up. <laughs> Are the girls here? Is anyone here? All right, is anyone here? Would anybody wish to speak to me right now? What's your name? Are you a boy or a girl? 
a man or a woman. If this is the man that killed those girls, you're a coward. <laughs> Such a coward. Okay, now people are starting to come back around, so this will be pointless to listen for voices. There's all kinds of things falling from the trees. I don't even have like an eerie feeling. There's just nothing here. So I couldn't honestly say if this is just a hoax or if this is the real thing, but it's a great story. It's a sad ending to some girls' lives. They didn't deserve this. And I just hope that they can rest in peace. One more thing, if this video can get 1,000 likes, I will visit it at night and do a ghost hunting investigation.